Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. American Girl's newest Be Forever doll, Courtney Moore, is here, and we are in love with her 1980s items and fashion. In today's tutorial, we are showing how to make Courtney's school supply set. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe for more miniature crafting fun. So, let's get making. For the pencils, take a cake pop stick and cut it down to be five centimeters long. With an X-Acto blade, carefully shave the tip to give it a pointed look. This doesn't have to be perfect as we can sand the tip smooth with a nail file. Use low tack tape, mask the pencil tip and also the top where the rubber will be. Paint the center of the pencil, one green, one blue and one peach. When the paint has dried, peel off the top tape and reposition under the exposed white cake pop stick. Now we can paint the rubber section a deep red. To match the AG pencils, cut a thin, thin strip of black paper, cover one side with glue, then curl it around the top as seen on screen. Shade the pointed tip with a peach brown pencil, then switch to a regular lead pencil to colour the very top. Seal your pencils with a coat of clear nail polish. Okay, now let's make the iconic 80s pencil box. On recycled paperboard, we used a white cake box, draw a rectangle 8.5 centimetres long by 7 centimetres wide. Using the dimensions on the left of screen, mark the top lid, centre, side walls and tabs of the pencil box. Mark and cut a dividing wall piece. Cut four additional lid pieces as seen on the left of screen. Use glue to adhere the side tabs and attach the dividing wall piece. You also need to cut the lid apart and remove a one centimetre square from the main compartment lid. Stack and glue three lid pieces together these are ever so slightly smaller than the lid flap. Place inside the pencil box, close down the lid flap and attach. Repeat with the smaller lid. They are now perfectly in place to keep the box closed. On the inside left of the pencil box, stack and glue one centimeter squares of paperboard to be one centimeter tall. Next, glue the extra paperboard lids on top for strength. It's time to paint. Apply a light pink colour to the inside and outside of the pencil box. If your paperboard has text or graphics on it, it may help to do an undercoat in white first. This way you can build up colour without too much bulk, which is important when working in miniature. Now for the fun. Referencing an image from the AG website, draw in the fun 80s graphics with bright markers. For that extra pop, use a white gel pen. Seal your pencil box with a few coats of matte Mod Podge for better play durability. On to the Lisa Frank three ring binder. Measure and cut from paperboard the front cover, matching back cover and spine. Take a bright blue cardstock and cut out a 17 by nine centimeter rectangle. Glue the paperboard pieces to it, ensuring there is a slight gap between the cover pieces and the spine so it will bend easily. Now, cut a larger rectangle of cardstock allowing a two centimeter tab and adhere the binder to it good side up. Cut off the corners and glue down the tabs for a clean, neat finish. For binder rings, we used florist wire. Shape the wire around the handle of a nail polish bottle. It has the correct dimension overlapping the wire at the top. Cut away the excess wire. Make three rings. For note paper, we Google searched an image, printed it off and cut it out. A brad punch is perfect for small holes. To position the rings, take your note paper and place it in the center of the spine. With a pencil, mark the three holes. Use drops of E6000 glue or hot glue for a faster method and press the rings into the glue. Hold in place till dry. Carefully open the wire loops to thread on your paper. 
For the front of the binder, screenshot the unicorn image. Paste into a paint program, then select Crop Tool. Cut out the section you want for your personal use. Copy, then paste into a Word document with the ruler tool on. If needed, resize the image to fit the binder front. For us, that was 6.5 by 8 centimetres. Print off along with your note paper. Glue the image onto the binder and your 80s school supply set is complete. Binder, pencil box. Hmm, has anyone seen my Pac-Man lunch set? Thanks for watching.